just curious just how you're approaching this and obviously you're, you're with a new team and how you establish yourself as a player. Uh, how, how important will this be for you to establish who you are and what the, what the team should expect from you to come to see this? Man, that's the thing I love about my job, man. Like, every year is a big year. Every year is exciting. Uh, I think this year I got a wonderful opportunity uh, to learn from some great players and vets um, around some great coaches. Um, and I'm excited, man. You obviously did the with the G League Unite, the Unite, the Unite team, played with obviously Jalen Green and those guys. Uh, just curious, did you pull from that experience at all in this in this situation or not? Um, G League Ignite was probably like you know my foundation. You know the guys that get me go to college, like that was my college. So yeah, I pull from that all the time. Like learned a lot from Brian Shaw. Um, learned a lot from you know Jared Jack. Um, that year especially, like you know, pushed me forward going into my career, man. Like a lot of the stuff I'm seeing now is stuff that I saw back then. So, yeah. Isaiah Gerald Borgay, nice to meet you. Welcome to Valley. Um, just what was kind of going through your mind when you found out about the trade and that you would be coming here? What was kind of your reaction? <laughs> um, it was exciting, man. Like I was just training. I was in the middle of training, and I found out Brad was going, and I um, called my agent to talk to him about it. And he was like, "Oh yeah, no, you're part of that trade too." Um, I immediately called my mom. Uh, I told her I was going. Uh, I was just ready to get to work. I came straight here, and I've been here for about, you know. I want to say 10 to 12 days now, um, just working out and getting familiar with the area, familiar with the facility and coaches. How is that process going and, and how nice is it to have, you know, two teammates of yours coming with you to help with that process, I guess? Um, it's going very well, very well. I love the grind. Um, exciting to have Jordan here. Me and Jordan started out in the go-go together. I watched him, you know, carve himself out a role. Um, and to see him here is, is amazing. And Brad, you know, I almost, you know, Get emotional just thinking about you know us winning the championship one day and you know everything that he's you know might have gone through behind closed doors and me watching him since a kid uh, wanting him to win the championship as well like it's just amazing to see. What kind of things about Brad? Lena Washington, 12 years welcome. Uh, what kind of things about Brad would you want people to know about him as like a player, a person that people don't talk about maybe? Um, I don't know what people talk about, but I know he's one of the hardest workers that I've ever met. Um, every time I come in the gym, he's in there, you know, working on something. He told me to live in the weight room. I never forget. And I see him living in the weight room, living in the gym, um, and that's just motivation for me. The young guy coming in. What was it like for you to see the move the Suns did really throughout the season, getting KD and just the direction this organization was going? How did that change your excitement coming here? Um, I mean, it didn't really change my excitement. I was just excited to be here. Um, excited to learn from the coaching staff. Excited to learn from guys like Frank. You know, excited to learn from guys like KD that I've watched growing up. Um, again, being around Brad still, another guy that I watched growing up. Like, got a wonderful opportunity ahead of me. Just can't wait. Isaiah, I'm Kelvin Olson. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Valley. Uh, since the G League process started for you, where do you feel like you've improved the most as a player since then? Um, I feel like. I feel like I've really improved on, like, the games are slowing down for me. Like, I'm seeing things ahead. Um, I'm able to give guys game coming in. Um, you know, just being well prepared going into the season, knowing what to expect. Um, just little things like that, little gems that I carry with me. Like, this is my third summer league. You know, this is going to be a lot of fun for me. You know, I'm coming in, like, those jitters that I had coming in, like, those, those are gone. So I'm excited, man. What was it like to share that experience with Jay Jack? We got to know him a bit around here as a coach. Uh, Jay Jack, man, one of the greatest guys, one of the greatest people I've ever met. Uh, had a lot of wisdom and experience to give to us. Um, guys like Jalen, you know, especially, like, guys like, you know, those guards that he really took under his wing. Um, even me, like, off the court, he showed me some things, like, you know, routine-wise, like, He's just a very wise guy. Because you're not expecting to go to the G League and, and run into a guy and play with a guy who's had 15 years in the league, right? Right, right. Yeah. So whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So, but what are some of the things that they tell you to stay away from once you get to Vegas? If you I mean, for a G League, third G League, uh, I'm the third summer. Um, I mean, just don't, just don't do anything that's going, you know, jeopardize your career, man. Like, I, everybody going there is, you know, obviously a grown man, but. Be professional. That's all it is. Be professional. Vegas can be Vegas, but usually when we come and the NBA takes over for summer league, everything's you know taken over by us. So it's not as as bad as you know you may think. But just be professional. For fans who aren't as familiar with you and your game, what do you feel that they should know about you? Um, very versatile. Can stick me anywhere. 
Um, I'm a learner. Um, that's my biggest trait. Like, you know, throughout the season, uh, I'm always going to trend in the right direction. Uh, that's why I'm excited to be here, so I can be a sponge around these guys uh, and be able to improve in every area that I can. Has it kicked in yet that you're going to be teammates with Kevin Durant, Devin Booker? You, you have been with Bradley, of course, already. I mean, I saw KD already before he left. Uh, so, yeah, it didn't kick in yet. You know, I ain't played with him yet, but yeah. we'll see. What are your initial impressions of Coach Crawford? And did you know anything about him before? I mean, just the whole organization is a wonderful place. I feel like I can come in and be myself. I feel like I can come in and talk to these guys and, and be honest about where I am and where I want to go. Uh, and I feel comfortable here coming in and, and being able to take those directions. Yeah, so being a Baltimore guy, I mean, do you have any prior connection with looking up to KD you know, before you came here? He, he's a Maryland guy himself. So yeah, for sure, man, for sure. That's why I was saying, like, even Brad and KD, like, they don't realize, like, man, I was born in 01, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> growing up, I was watching Brad and, and John and, and KD and those guys that come from the area. Um, that you may not even know, like Kill Carl, all those guys. Like, but KD was, KD was the guy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know to this day if he's really from DC, PG, whatever that. But Maryland, you know what I mean? Like, just being from Baltimore and him being the closest thing to the greatest player coming from there. Yeah. What does he think of the uh, the roster that's been put together you know, through free agency? When you see it all compiled, one through fifteen, what what jumps out to you when you look at the, the roster? Um, what jumps out to me? I see we have a great chance uh, to win a championship. We got a lot of pieces. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how we come together. Isaiah, what did you know about the state of Arizona before you got here? Uh, I've been on vacation here once. Uh, I just knew it was very hot. <laughs> but I love it here, man. There's never a cloud in the sky. People are very nice, um, beautiful area. Um, and it's a good place to come and just get to work and focus on what you need to focus on. Well, I got Thanks, Thanks, Isaiah. Thanks, Isaiah. Thanks, Isaiah. Yeah, nice to meet you, man.